Now, what about these other points? You will say, oh, there's all this important stuff you need to consider. Your project needs to be testable. Your project needs to be scalable. You want to get reuse, whether it's code reuse, component reuse, uh, mindset reuse, architecture reuse. You want to employ all these best practices. I'm not saying those are not important. They're still very important. Uh, but it's a second level of importance to me. I have never seen a project that failed because we didn't have enough reuse. Yeah, we may have had to scramble. We may have had to do a lot more typing than we wanted. We may have had an extra 10% of work or 20% of work that needed to be done because we didn't reuse components as much as we could have. And, and we looked back at the project at the post-mortem and said, next time we do better. Next time we'll, we'll start with a better architecture that allows us to have more reuse. Or we, we start with better architecture that's more testable and we'll get much better test coverage from the get-go. Uh, or scalability. We may have started out and, and the project wasn't scalable and there was more work that needed to be done. But if we give ourselves the leeway to make some mistakes because of proper boundaries, those are things that are fixable. I've never seen a project that had the plug pull because it wasn't reusable enough. I've never seen a project that had the plug pulled because it wasn't testable or tested enough. I've seen hardships because of those things and we had to fix it. So I'm, I'm still saying this is an important secondary thing. And there's many projects where testing is a perfect example. We, we have a project right now that we work on for a bank. Well, we don't wanna go through a, a deployment of banking software that potentially approves loans automatically and stuff like that, uh, that isn't tested properly, right? We, we do need to have testability and to have testability needs to be built in from the get-go. It's very hard to just add that later if you have never thought about testing. But at this point, I'm assuming that most people have that in their mind a little bit, right? So you're, you're creating software that's fundamentally testable. And then you may struggle adding more. So yes, hardships exist, but I've never seen a project completely fail because of that reason. But I certainly have seen projects fail because they were not productive enough, because you couldn't move new people on it, they weren't learnable enough. The fundamental architecture meant that people shot themselves in the foot so badly that they couldn't recover from it, right? So take my prior slide as here is the top level of important stuff. Take this slide as this is the second level uh, of important stuff. 